These children were not born with the proverbial golden spoon. They were born in this makeshift building with dirty environment and lack of basic amenities. The reason is not far-fetched. Their parents are very poor and largely dependent and begging for survival. Therefore, they cannot afford to provide them with essential food that is needed for body growth and good health. But you are here, I am a good Isaac. I am a Siki. A queer bomb bunch in a chunk. I've been to a queer bomb bunch in my life here. Do me the Sutura, the wooden quana, you're going to make your quana on the coca genevas quana. According to UNICEF, Kaduna State has about 1.6 million children suffering from the scourge, with 500 already within the borderline. Although experts say malnutrition related deaths are preventable, they lament that the coverage and quality of treatment and food intake. Are lacking. Ignorance, for example, can make create, create a situation where, let's say, you have only one egg in the house. Who eats the egg? Is it the father who is fully grown, or is it the child who needs the egg to grow up? So these are some things that so you so you have social, economic, and uh, cultural factors. Mainly, they are the things that are driving malnutrition in the background, which means if you want to address malnutrition, these issues must be addressed. Presently, Zaria, Makarfi and Igbabi local government are the areas was hit with very high number of malnutrition cases requiring urgent intervention. This perhaps has necessitated the concern shown by the wife of the state government, Ummi Al Rufai, who is leading a strong advocacy against the scourge. We decided to come up with uh, um, a project called uh, Kaduna State Emergency Nutrition Action Plan, Kaduna. Uh, but what happens is that I am the champion of the project, um, but I'm working with his commissioners and uh, people in his ministries and departments. But what this means is that where we have emergency cases of malnutrition, then we are able to rechannel their functions, to fast track their functions to those particular sites where we need urgent attention. Even though the Kaduna state government says it has taken steps to address hunger and starvation, with over 300 million spent to take care of 50,000 malnourished children, observers say more needs to be done.